president of the Corvette Supreme Giveaway brand and VG Group, uh, Mark Reiner. Uh, first, I want to thank everybody for coming out. We very much appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to enjoy seeing the cars, but especially seeing the cars given away. Um, as Chris said, uh, I'm with DG Group Marketing Solutions, I'm CEO, and we are, we license and manage the Dream Giveaway brand to benefit worthwhile charities. So there's typically three questions that people will ask. Number one, do Dream Giveaways really benefit charities? Number two, are the cars really as good as they look in the pictures and on the TV commercials? That's Obviously, a question that all you guys can answer now. And number three, are the winners legit? So we're going to answer all three of those questions for everybody here today and everybody uh, in the real world out there watching live right now. So let's start by introducing uh, the sponsor for 2015 and 2016, the sponsor charities New Beginning Children's Homes. Uh, Ken Ferguson is the founder of New Beginning Children's Homes. I'd like him to come up and tell a little bit about New Beginning Children's Homes, what they do, how the Dream Giveaways have helped them fund their mission, and where he sees the future. So, yeah. Thank you. Well, we are so excited to be here uh, in Florida today and just excited that you all are here with us. Uh, New Beginning Children's Homes is a long-term residential care uh, facility. Uh, that houses foster children for the long haul. And by the long haul, I mean it could be anywhere from the time they come to us at a very early age all the way through uh, their 18th birthday or through high school. So we also endeavor to keep sibling groups together, and our campus is really focused in a family atmosphere uh, to do that. And when they're split up across the, across the states, be able to bring them back together and be reunited. So we currently have uh, three homes with 27 children total in a family-based environment, nine children per house in each one of those homes, six bedroom, three bath, and uh, just a great, great family atmosphere. Uh, we're getting ready to, to open up uh, our fourth break ground, uh, actually in the next coming weeks. Uh, as soon as we get home, we're gonna begin doing that again. There'll be a total of six homes on campus by the time we're finished, and we'll be able to house 54 children on our uh, current site and current campus as soon as we get there. So we're very, very excited about being able to do that and to extend kind of our family's journey of adoption and through the foster system and to be able to move that back into our local communities to, to benefit children. It is real and we're excited uh, to be part of this today. Thanks a lot, Ken. And he's, you know, <clears throat> Ken's a very humble guy, um, but I can tell you this, that um, they've had an amazing success rate uh, with these children and helping them um, grow and develop into productive citizens. And they've had a lot of uh, other counties uh, in Arkansas that would like them to duplicate this concept. Uh, we were so stricken by it, both Patrick, who's our president right back there, and myself have visited on numerous occasions. And um, it's our intention to help New Beginning Children's Zone become a national organization and offer these um, in, in wherever people need them. So that's, that's right. Fine. And we're excited to continue to expand. And uh, we, we have always uh, been uh, focused on a debt-free facility. And we are a debt-free facility. And as we continue to raise the funds, the donations continue to come in from situations just like this, we're able to continue to build another house as we're going to do in the coming weeks. Thanks. We'd love to hear So we, in addition to the sponsor, uh, we get together and we identify other great charities that we feel would benefit through grants. So uh, part of the funds that come into the Dream Giveaways are dedicated for grants. And one of the grant recipients for multiple years now is Mothers Against Drunk Driving. So I'd like to introduce Bianca from Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uh, another one of our great charity partners and talk a little bit about um, what Dream Giveaway has done for Mothers Against Drunk Driving and what your mission is. Thank you. Um, we're, I'm so excited to be here today. Dream Giveaway has actually been a supporting sponsor of Mothers Against Drunk Driving since 2013. So that's a really wonderful long-time relationship. They not only give us a grant every year, 
but they support us with media. They support us by getting our logo out and our name out and our mission out. And to us, that's what a partnership really means. It means that our, our grantors are actually vesting in our mission and it's important to them. Uh, Mother's Hand Truck Driving served 51,000 victims and survivors of <coughs> drunk and drug driving across the country last year. 2,000 of those, more than 2,000, were just right here in the West Central Florida affiliate. Um, we are also so excited to say that the 2014 statistics just came out, and the first, for the first time in many, many years, drug driving deaths across the country are below 10,000. So our mission to end drunk driving, help fight drunk driving, support the victims of these violent crimes, and prevent underage drinking is really working, and it's because of partners like the DG Group. So I want to thank you. Thank you for very much. You thank you. So in addition to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, there are other familiar names that we were able to help this year. Disabled American Veterans, National Guard Education Foundation, Smile Network International, uh, and several others, and we'll continue to do that and hopefully add to the grant recipients as our organization grows. Since 2007, we've provided over $12 million in net funding uh, to over dozens of charities, and, and, and hopefully, again, we can continue to grow. And we do so by offering amazing prizes. So the question is, the second question, are the prizes for real? So for that answer, we're going to talk to Walt Thurn. Come up, Walt. Um, tell you a little about Walt. Some of you guys in the car around, or <laughs> some of you guys in the car realm know who Walt is. He's been a racer, been involved in all kinds of races, including 24-hour of Le Mans and lots of different um, projects in Europe with the with the Corvette race team and lots of uh, Corvette associated um, racing. Uh, Participation, but in addition to that, Walt is a writer. Um, he uh, does freelance writing for many of the Corvette pubs. Um, that one up there, "Are They Real?" is exactly why we wanted Walt to talk to you for a minute. Um, when we introduced ourselves to Walt not long ago, um, we said we have some Corvettes here. We'd like you to come not only see, but we want to exercise them. We want to take them for a ride. We want you to determine, are they real? So I twisted his arm for about half a second, and Walt said yes. And we had some fun. Walt came over, we took the cars out, and we exercised them pretty good. Didn't we? we did. So are they real? Well, actually, uh, they are real. And um, when, when he called, when Mark called, I thought, well, you know, I've heard about this thing, and I thought, you know, they're so close, why not come by and check them out? And uh, I had not driven the, the Z06 automatic, I had driven the 7-speed manual, and he had one, and I thought, ah, let's go for it. And uh, it runs really well. <laughs> it actually runs so well that the first time I got behind it, I, I, I nailed it, and my hands came off the steering wheel. It <laughs> scared me a bit. No, I mean, I didn't mean, grab one. I mean, I was like, whoa, man, this puppy's got some grunt. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's a great car. And of course, I had a 66, 427, 425. And this brings back a lot of memories to me. So, yeah, it's, it's an exciting thing. And uh, I was really pleased to write the story. I don't know a lot about the organization, but what I see, I'm pretty impressed. Those cars are nice, and lucky you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we've answered question number one, we've answered question number two, and now we have to answer question number three. Are the winners real? So I'd like to introduce you with a gentleman. He's not my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. David Park, if you come up here. So, you know, lots of people around the country make donations tax-deductible donations to a charity uh, to enter the giveaways and get entries. Um, one of them was chosen as the winner, and it's done randomly. It's done by an accounting firm, and we don't do it ourselves, and it's certified. By the way, it's also open to any law enforcement agent, active duty law enforcement agent. Uh, it's real. Um, so David was the lucky guy who got the call one afternoon after the selection that 
told him that his hundred dollar donation he made to help charity um, actually won him two Corvettes along with fifty thousand dollars to pay the taxes. Um, not only is he a lucky guy, but he's also a car guy, which is even better. Uh, he's a he's an automotive enthusiast. I've had a few a few minutes to, to chat with him this morning, and he's definitely a deserving winner. He brought his wonderful family with him, and um, and we can't wait to hand him the keys to these cars in just a minute. Um, I know that during our conversation, one thing David said is, "Well, I made I made I entered because I just wanted to help charity. I I really didn't think I'd win, but you know, you never know. And, and here he is today, about to get the keys to both of these cars and the titles on my dad, which is pretty important. Um, so." Uh, without further ado, I'd like to call up Scott Oak. If you guys know Scott from the, um, the Meekum Auctions, he is uh, also the face of our commercials that you see on TV. Um, and uh, Ken Ferguson, if you come up here, Ken. And uh, so on behalf of the Dream Giveaway team, because we work as a team here, so if you don't mind, what I'd like to do is get our whole Dream team up here. Stand back here. Everybody who's on the dream team. This is unscripted, so we just want to give credit where credit is due. Like uh, Scott, if you hand the keys to one of the cars, Dr. David, Scott. it is my pleasure to present you with the keys to this 2015 Z06. And we know your last name is Park, so there's one stipulation that goes along with this: you are not allowed to leave these cars in the park. <laughs> Mark, one question. Yes. Could you have him push the key fob? Yeah. Which one? Start it up. We only want to work. Yeah, we're curious. Battery steel. Do you mind us to show you how to drive it, too? <laughs> well, you want to hear it? Oh. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we got to be closer. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if it really runs.
Sun Coast Quarterback Club for coming here. We have some booty bags, some uh, free tickets for you to enter next year's quarterback music party, along with some samples of some mothers with car care products. So please be sure to get, grab one of those booty bags before you take off. And thank you so much for joining us here today. And that concludes the 2015 Corvette giveaway. We'll be launching the 2016 Corvette giveaway in about three months, so keep an eye on the dreamgiveaway.com website. And thank you so much for joining us here and being part of our live event that we are giving away both of these prize packages today. Hope to see you here soon. Talk to you later. Bye now.